Feels good to be true, my dear apes. Guys, guys, guys. All times high, cost to borrow change in percentage 77.48. We're speaking about sooner or later 100% change of cost to borrow. Meanwhile, the shares that are currently on loan, all times high, 181 million shares. Also, very, very similar. We're going towards 36%. Of the shares percentage of the float currently on loan as you can see over here 35.28 percent and we have main reason to expect a good price action today here is why we have almost 900,000 shares borrowed change which potentially means that these shares could go towards or surpass a million shares in a very short period of time which means again a huge price fluctuation uh, the day will be volatile, most likely the market will be red, we all know why. Starting Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we have different reports, meetings and important data that will be revealed to the public. Also, as you can see over here, the cost to borrow max is again all times high, 23.61. We were happy when this was 15, 18, now it's going towards 24% maximum cost to borrow. And the minimum cost to borrow seems to be all times high as well 10.5 percent guys remember the days when this number was 1.3 1.5 1.8 now it's 10.5 this is minimum maximum 23.61 on top of that we have again short interest slowly but surely going towards 24 percent all these numbers means much more than the current price action, in my opinion. Yesterday, we talked about the new SEC vision to change the stock market in general. Changes that didn't happen for the last 30 years, right? And a lot of you said, you know, SEC haven't done a lot to protect individual investors, especially after the video that they released a couple of weeks ago. Well, last time when I checked the video on YouTube, on the SEC's channel had seven or over 7,000 dislikes versus like 500 likes. So the, the backlash is gigantic. This is why I think that, you know, at, at least in some way, this uh, sent a message to the SEC from individual investors and people who actually saw the video. What could be the reason behind these particular new rules, again, in favor of the individual investors could be the backlash that we saw around the video, right? But that that's not something that I'm worrying about. I'm worrying about what actually is currently happening that the London Metal Exchange is currently sued by uh, multiple hedge funds who were involved in the short squeeze in Nickel. And this is something that could happen here on the New York Stock Exchange or in any exchange around the world because the, the claims over here are very similar to what, in my opinion, is about to happen during the short squeeze place here on the stock market. As you can see over here, London Metal Exchange sued for 456 million dollars by the u.s hedge fund elliot management over nickel trades this is good and this is a bad news uh, the reason for it right here is that the elliot management is suing the exchange for suspending trading on nickel for like missed opportunities to make money on the market if they can actually sue the exchange this means that if during the short squeeze on the short squeeze place on the stock market you know the stocks have been suspended uh, for trading right individual investors could potentially sue the exchange in the very same way uh, remember the guy who actually was able to sue robin hood and and receive thirty thousand dollars because he lost money during the unavailability to buy or trade some of the stocks early back in january i'm not saying that this could 100 percent work in in a similar case scenario here if because the nikkeo hit 100k right let's say some of the short squeeze plays hit 100k figuratively speaking and if the stock is suspended at let's say at 100k nobody is able to buy or sell and then when the stock continue trading it's down to 40k right this is uh, missed 60% uh, missed gains on this particular trade and you know this could work out as an exit plan but I'm not sure that they will be able to do so I'm not sure that they will be able actually to 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 win particular uh you know case against the exchange on the bad side we can assume that you know hedge funds could actually use similar tactics if some of the people are able to to sell at, at crazy numbers right so think about people who who sold nickel at 100k the contracts of nickel 400k uh you know 
these particular losses that were in the balance sheet of the guy who actually short nickel, he has to pay for it. This is why they're suspending particular asset or stock to be traded, so they will limit the losses on the other side, on the guys who actually short. And the point over here is that in some way the exchanges using these tactics is protecting the people who are short, who are on the other side of the trade to limit their losses. So New York Stock Exchange and other exchanges could see what is happening with the London Metal Exchange, these lawsuits, and they might, you know, get a prevention measures. This means that they will suspend stocks which are squeezing much earlier. So they will prevent a potential lawsuits in the future from the hedge funds, right? If they don't want to be sued by any hedge fund, they will prevent any squeeze or they will prevent any crazy numbers going these stocks to sky high, inimaginable heights. I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm just giving you a heads up. This is what is happening on the precious metals market. So bear this in mind. Leave your thoughts in the comment section guys, subscribe to the channel, like this video and come back for more.